A wicked workout, crisp mountain air, and breathtaking as in you'll take many breaths to reach it views. This is what you'll experience when climbing 3,940 foot Blackhead Mountain in the Catskills of New York. This five mile round trip loop hike meanders alongside streams, passes through colorful deciduous woods, and climbs over 1,700 feet up and down some of the steepest trails in the Catskills. Of course, I find this detail out after completing said hike. Please note, while this is a quote unquote short hike, it's still the Catskills, so be prepared with proper footwear, plenty of water and snacks, and layers to combat changing temperatures and weather. It was nearly 15 degrees colder at the peak than at the parking lot, so keep that in mind when hiking this mountain in cooler months. I always love a good disclaimer. To complete this hike, you'll begin from the parking area along Big Hollow Road, about two hours away from northern New Jersey. Be aware that two red blaze trails begin from this trailhead. The one you're looking for points you southeast toward the Batavia Kill lean-to. The trail begins moderately as you follow the babbling Batavia Kill as it wends its way through the woods and over wooden walkways. After 0.6 miles, you'll find a trail juncture between the red and yellow trails. While we continued on the red trail up to the peak, I would highly advise ascending via the yellow to the blue trails as it is much steeper and therefore easier to ascend than descend. Not having this knowledge, of course, we continued climbing steeply but not ridiculously along the Red Blaze Black Dome Range Trail for another 1.4 miles. After a few switchbacks, you'll arrive at Lockwood Gap, where you'll turn left to begin the Yellow Blaze Blackhead Mountain Trail. After some moderate climbing and a quick rock scramble, you'll reach an outstanding outcrop offering west-facing views featuring Black Dome Mountain and the peaks of the Devil's Path to the left. Be sure to linger here long enough to soak in the view, as it will be the only true vista along the hike. Moving on, you'll continue along the yellow trail through a spruce fir forest, which, if I were to guess, gives the mountain a dark-colored peak and therefore its blackhead namesake. I love this type of northern boreal wood. It just smells so spectacularly fresh, and the encircling trees and verdant moss have such a mystical air about them. After 0.7 miles, you'll reach the true summit of Blackhead Mountain, as well as the juncture of the Blue Blaze Discarpment Trail, which sort of just drops off, doesn't it? This is when I began realizing this would have been the way up versus down, but down we went as we turned left on the escarpment trail from the yellow trail and began our brutally steep descent down the mountain. Trekking poles really helped us out on the slicker sections of rocks, so don't be afraid to pack those along when tackling this hike. Slowly and steadily, we made our way nearly vertically down this precipitous trail, or should I say precipitous, because the cat skills. Halfway down, you'll arrive at a sort of view through the trees, as well as more steep descents, though a bit milder than before. After 0.9 miles of careful footwork, you'll turn left on the yellow blazed Batavia Kill Trail. For another 0.9 miles, you'll waltz through a vibrant deciduous forest as the trail hugs the Batavia Kill itself. After crossing a footbridge, you'll reconnect with the red blazed Black Dome Range Trail, where you'll hang left and make the 0.6 mile journey back to your car. I hope you enjoyed this hike up Blackhead Mountain in the Catskills. Until next time, happy trails!